Okay, everyone. I'm actually on what they call the thorn tree pool. And I've come right up. This is one of the better known pools on the Swiston Beat. Uh, it's a great pool. As you can see, in this height of water, it's lovely. And, uh, oh, oh, there's this reed patch in front of me. A bit of nature was. I'm just going to fish around it though. Now, I have a, a small tube on, small red devil, one at a uh, half inch. It's going to be fluorescent tubing on it, fluorescent orange, just to help give it a wee bit of more colour. I could fish a bigger fly, and I may do that further down. And uh, see how we go, but we'll see. I see this is the uh, Smiston Beat for the, the River Dune. It's actually one of the nicest stretches of water you could ever fish. And uh, I'm going to obviously. I'll try for trout as well, further down, see how we get on, so we can mix the day up. I mean, the conditions are not perfect. It's bright sunshine, it's the middle of the day. Um, but we'll try, we'll see how we go. This is one of, as I say, <coughs> the best known, one of the best known salmon pools in this stretch. Uh, and the River Doon, if you know the River Doon. A lot of people have heard of the, the thorn tree. There's a, the stream below it again, that I've had many a fish in this pool. So I'm just going to fish. Step a cast and work my way through. I've not seen any fish, so it's not bad. I mean, not seeing a fish doesn't mean to say there's nothing there. We are early in the season, but there will be fish here. There will be a fish up here. We're, I think, 15 miles from the sea, which is not a lot of miles for a salmon to travel. And uh, I tell you, if you ever want to Look at a decent piece of water, this is one of them. I may have to come in here because it gets a bit deep off the back of this. But it's certainly worth fishing before you before you start to head down the pool. I come up onto the 
the banking. But you can cover this pool pretty easy. Don't need to wade. Just fish it through. Just got a nice line. You think you you feel it suits the conditions, meaning like as I say it's windy so don't you don't want to be casting too far. The thing is you got fish in here that, that takes off. Uh, it's a great fun. It's a nice long pool as you can see. And uh, it's good fun to fish. This is a good lie here. There's a big stone just here. And the fish lie just off it, so if I remember right, I mean it's 30 years since I fished this beat. Uh, it's a long time. See the river's in great order, and uh, I'm just working the fly here because there's a. I don't want to catch up. Anyway, stone's just there, just the back of the stone. One space of perfect water, and it's just just need the salmon. That's all. Just the fish. This is a good bit. This is a really good lie here, even off the, off the back and below this stone. I've had one or two fish off of this before. And actually, quite close as well, way along the edge here.
I wonder if there's a, what they call the roughs just below us. It's a really fast run that comes out of this into a nice pool at the, bo the bottom. Uh, I begin to forget all the names of the pools. Uh, certainly remember this one, okay, the Thorn Tree, which as I say, it's probably one of the most famous pools on the dune, at this end anyway. She's simply named after, there used to be a lot of thorn trees. There's still one or two about the side. I think I'll just do two or three casts more to this tree and then I'll walk my way down. Okay, so I say I'll not spend too much time with conditions being the way they are. I'll go down and fish the rough water. The, really, it's quite fast. I'm going to change the fly to a, quite a big fly. I want to fish to, uh, to see it, obviously. But I want it to sit. I'm going to use a copper tube. And uh, maybe I'll see how it sits. Three quarter inch copper. As long as it's not skating the surface, and uh, I see, I usually like this is a half inch red devil. If I was going into the roughs, I'd probably use an inch uh, just to basically hold the fly right. Anyway, we'll head down. Okay, this is uh, as you can see, called the roughs. <laughs> now I'm fishing a big fly. Uh, basically, uh, this is a an inch tube, barley shrimp, and all I want to do is try and fish or get the fly to sit for a second in behind a stone or anything like that, just to give it a go. And see the fly come across. So don't it ever try and control it. We've got the high bank here, so we just. It's worth a cast, I used to catch a fish, a lot of fish doing this when the fish were running or like here the in the summer months the fish would lie in here because there's a lot of oxygen in the water so there is the reason I'm using such a big fly is just to try and Get it to fish, to sit. It's just so rough, as you can see there. It's amazing the fly, the fish that lie in here. When I was years ago, when I fished here. Okay, that's that bit done. I just cast over this bush. 
we'll try in here and you'll see if you're up here you should hopefully just cast it across just let it swing out it's fishing through nice some pool it's well named the roughs is it I want to fly right over there so I mean if a fish takes you in here it's a wheel like a rocket so it is I'm going to give it a good two or three goes before I move Yeah, I've moved down a bit I'm just fishing Basically I would say the best area is just here in front of us So see, you really need a weighted fly to get down to these so I mean it is called the roughs for a reason I've just changed the, uh, this is a woolly gun, a gold woolly gun, but a wee touch of purple in it. I'm on a three-quarter inch tube, so, a copper tube anyway. Just check the fly there. Just come down a wee bit here, it's just got this wind that's kinda blowing upstream. There's better. I want the fly as close to the far bank as I can. And when I used to fish this pool, I mean the trees weren't there, they weren't there. But the ah wind's catching the fly. It's a good pool this 
Fish here. So it's a, in a good area here. I mean, you could catch fish anywhere in there. It's uh, Really got to punch the fly against the wind. It doesn't look windy, but it is to get it right over the ropes. Just oh, lucky fly on top of the tree there. This area here just by the trees here. It's a, it's a spot they would expect a fish to lie. And uh just let the fly swing through it. Okay, well, I think what I'll do is I'll grab the trout rod and a wee quick cast in here and we'll see if we can grab a trout, see if there's any wee trout about. Then we'll give the trout rod a go soon, but I haven't seen any fish rise or anything, so but we'll give it a go. and a nymph, it's a small tungsten bead nymph so we fish there run just before I head down because uh, I feel like there's fish lying in here one of the best methods to try and find them and uh, we'll see how it goes, see if we can pick up a, a good fish Put the bottom there. Must be quite rocky in there. Check my fly. It's fine. One or two nice rocks here, but that's ideal because the, the fish will be lying beside them. So I'll just quickly run through it before I head down. And we'll see how we get on. I'm going to try and fish the bottom of the beach. 
for the trout to the, the salmon rod by and uh, we'll see how we got on so just quickly run through it's always best to the river's up a wee bit, that's a problem. Oops. Too busy looking at the fly. Watching where I'm going. Anyway. Trying this far side. Try up the middle here, it's just off the edge of the run. It's always a good bit. This method obviously allows you to fish the dry fly as well as the nymph, so and it's a good way of presenting the nymph for the fly. Oh, there we go. Gosh, it's a good trout. Oh, it's out the dry. Ooh. I don't think hands it's, it's hooked yet. There you go. Not so easy to land it here. There we go. He's twirling my cast up. It's a lovely fish. Just a lovely wild brown trout. Try and let him slip out that cast in a way. You can see he's made a, a knitting job of that. We'll just, just take our time and try and unravel it. There you go. See these fish look up, yeah. very opportune type fish, the royal brownies. We're up to my line, showing a wee stick, but anyway, put it back out. Sling dry my, my dry fly. There you go. There's one of those trout there, there's another. I'll try this far side just to see. It just looks good. There's a bit of run coming through there to control the fly and it's deep in front of me here so uh, I'll see it It just looks such a good pool, there's lots of pools in this, this beat that are worth a cast I'll certainly not cover them all today, like, I don't know. We'll try below. It's a wee bit more sheltered down there. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. This is a nice trout. Try and keep them out of the weed. Trying to figure out where I could actually land them. That is, it's quite. Ah. It shows you an inverse and the dry a combination. That's a wee sea trout. It's a wee hotland. So it is. It's, there you go, it's a wee sea trout. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Cracker. Woo. There we go. 
It's a lovely fish on the nymph. It just shows you. Oh, look, okay, actually, a wee grouse, but jeez. Okay, that was fun. That was a cracking fish. So, let's see if we can catch another one. I mean, it's very. Like a, it's like a small grouse rather than a small sea trout, but anyway. There we are. Lovely wee bar of silver. I'll probably better look at it when I go home. I'll just give this another cast. I mean, we seem to be picking up. Um, I've missed a couple of fish. And uh, well, we said one in the dry and one in the nymph. So just fish below here, then we'll head down. Oh. So what hooked here? Gosh, some small apples. It's amazing what you can hook in the river. Anyway. That was a good fight as well. Half that we trout, half that, uh, that we fish. Just fish towards the end of this pool. See if we can. I see that the tail end of the pool is usually good. I'm just going to walk down to it. Quite a strong wind blowing upstream, so to so we'll try close to the tree here. We try to go to the dry there. Oh, we try just as. He's letting it swing around there. And the way it goes. Right, okay, we'll head head down. Let's try. I'm gonna try this pool here. I mean, the fish could lie right along the edge here, so that they could. That's a nice wee... Oh, there we go. Uh, boys away. I missed him. He's off. Anyway. That took the nymph, that one. I can cast up the way from where I am to down here. And cover the, this, this edge on the far side. I'll maybe watch the way, because... <laughs> I could we run here? As long as a good area, you could cast this fly here. I mean, there's such good pools here for both salmon and trout. You really need to come and focus on one or the other. It's hard. 
So if I'd seen salmon, it'd be different. If I'd seen fish lunging or so, I would certainly be fishing the salmon fly. But we'll try the trout now. Was that the bottom? Or was that a fish? Could have been the bottom, you never know. It's hard to see the fly where they are. I see, I think just under my nose here would be a good spot. I'll drop a fly in front of me. See if there's any below. No. That far side as well looks a really good spot, but there's a. It's running through there really quick, so hard to stop it. Right in that rough, that fast water there, just shows you. I'll just try and get this fish out. It's a nice brownie as well. Like a space. There it is. Lovely fish. Put it back. Oh, yeah. Go back in there. That was good. I'm going to have to grab my flight. I'll go back in. So the old nymph is doing well. Let's see. Before I'm out, I'll probably give the salmon fly a go. It's too, it's too nice a pull to ignore. It's, uh, as I say, it's quite hard to concentrate on one and ignore you know, the other type thing. It's just. Good with a bait fly in here as well. I think that was a wee half take there. Try again. Okay. Fly just at the head of the pool here mainly. It's a lovely trout pool, it's a lovely salmon pool. Jesus, get everything going for it this one. Still got, I've got the wally gun on, so I'm just going to step in. Just fish through.
They said I fished this water 30 years ago and it's, it's changed so much. There's a little changed. I mean, 30 years is a long time. So, I've changed a lot in 30 years. <laughs> so, I would expect the river to change as much. Anyway, we'll give this a wee quick cast through. Just a nice run through there. And a great pool when the fish are running. Just stop. Just to the tail end there's this big deep drop into the next run. couple of casts and then we'll move down. So I say I'm not going to spend too long. It's a bit it's kind of a shame because uh, as I say it's hard to fish if you're going to fish for salmon you're just fishing for salmon and, and so on but the uh, I'm fishing the trout as well and try to cover as much as, as I can in the short time.
So we're early in the season anyway, this August time is really good, especially up, at, up here, uh, September. So, what I'll do is, and then we'll move down to the next run. Oh, God, I threw those up to the, the dry there. Gosh, I missed another one there. Could be the same fish there. First cast. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm just basically out in the wind, holding my leader out. And the nymph. So trying this run between the pools. This is a wee run, it's a good wee pool. This wee run over here. I see I'm just keeping the, the wind's blowing upstream so it's keeping my leader off the water. Try again in this, end, this wee bit. Hmm. I think it may be shallow right between there as well. Just try further up. As I say, I'm just running through quick. We quick look at the pools, see what they're like. There we go. That's just a oh, a wee fish, but anyway, it's one. There we go, another wee fish. Just in between the runs here. These are not big fish, but they're good fun. There we go, lovely fish. Okay, try again. Just come up a wee bit further here. So all I'm doing is keeping the rod out high and just fishing between well just to slow the fly up a wee bit the wind's helping anyway so oh, and there was a wee tap there there we go that's a better fish it's in the dry this time Ooh. Christ, it jumped onto the bank in there. Glory has tangled my leader. What is this? He's wrapped the cell. There's a nymph. A dry, gosh. He's. God, what a mitten job this is. Have to slide him out, I think. I don't like to handle that, just the fish away. There we go, nice wee brownie. Get away. He's left me a uh, lap pile. Anyway, we'll, we'll sort it out. Okay, back out. Try back ever into this cam, but if that was a nice trout, actually. Just I mean, it took the dry, it came up for that dry fly. It's good fun. It's a good wee run. It just looks so fishy, like there's got to be fish lying in it. There's missed another one there. There's one or two, there are obviously small fish amongst them.
a wee bit further over here. That wind helps because it keeps my line off the water. So I can, oh, just another one. <laughs> There's, there must be one or two wee fish in there. There's a fish rose over there. Just put a dry over it. There's a wee trout rising there. There we go. Oh. That must have been it, maybe. We took the nymph, so... I'll try back over there, just in case it wasn't. I mean, there's lots of wee pockets in this pool, in these pools to fish. Lots of good wee areas. Right, we'll move on, I think. It was worth a cast. We'll move on up in here, then we'll move. Oh. Okay. That was fun. A nice wee run here, we can try, oh, I'm gonna fly. It's quite strong the wind here, just gonna pop the fly up in this area. And just bring it through first before I come on to here. I know this tree would be quite good to get under, but there we go, I'll just cast it over. I'm going to roll them through there quite quick. There's a the wind. It's quite a strong. I'm going to move down a wee bit so I can cast the flight a wee bit better. Ah, gosh, he tried to take the, the dry there. Just held on, on for a second and back off. Gosh, that went down again. So maybe one or two trout right in front of me here, so... I'll just step back. It's quite a deep wee run. There you go, it's just a wee trout. Oh, by the way. Back out and see if we enough. Well, enough. I still last. The, the run was the best. The best, uh, right close to the bank. Where the trees are is very good. Just work along here, just a wee. There's some lovely pools below on the way up, I saw. I'm desperate to try them. But we'll give this a go before we, we go. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, oh, missed it. That was a good fish day. That was a nice take. I just on and off. I actually felt it, so it felt quite a bit of weight in it. I'll just try again along the edge, just the edge of the ripple. To the run there, it's... Try as close as I can to the tree. It uh, seems to be the area where the fish, or the wee fish, are lying anyway. That's a better trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. It was worth casting back in there. There we go, two in the nymph obviously. It's a lovely trout. Oh. We've got the nymph in the bottom jaw. A wee bit of damage there by a comment by the looks at it. Anyway, there we go. I'll try that again, see if I got one, there must might be another one. I'm just getting your fly to sit really close to the, the tree. Seems to be the, the area where you want to get your fly. Spoiled for the type of water here, there's lots of water to fish. So there is. We've got another one. Oop. So we used to it. Again, the nymph. There we go, another fish. It's really fishing good. There we go again, Jesus. Minnie's in there. It's a bit bigger than the last one. It's quite a hot spot. Beautiful now, wee brown trout. Alright. We'll try again. <laughs> Tough not to go away, like, especially if there's catching. Just letting that drift through with the dry. I mean, a wee swirl of the dry there, but I'm half looking at the dry. But they're certainly taking the nymph in, seems to be what they're looking for. It's an ideal area for anything getting washed down. Get the fish will be there queuing up. It's probably why there's so many fish. Plus, it's right at that tree. The closer you get to the tree, the more likely you to catch a fish. This looks quite a nice wee run. So we try just in here. Oh, there's a fish there right in front of me. The fish just rose right in this run right in front of me here. I 
too far out here, but I'll just let it run through. It's a nice wee pool this. It's quite deep along the front, so I'm going to just fish my dry quite close. Oh, missed that. Come up. Never touched it though. I suppose these fish are quite willing to come up, even when there's nothing on the water, you don't see anything really. They're just the odd, probably fly getting blown on with the wind. Well, I'll try just over a bit. Oh, missed it. I don't know too bad that fish as well. Just going to come down here a wee bit so I can fish this. This wee run just in front of me. Just to see if there's any there. Might be quite, quite shallow there. Well, I'll try further over. I thought that was a wee touch there. That was a nice fish. Oh dear. I've seen it come up and take the fly. I like a nice brownie as well. Try to see if there's another one there. Well, that wee fish there. Just as it's lifted off, it took. There we go. Feels like a nice fish, it does. It's a nice brownie. Right, wants to go under the that stone there. This is a lovely trout. Oh, there's a way. That was a good fish. I'm back in. That took the nymph, that fish, so. A good wind blowing there, so I can dabble the fly a wee bit. 
can you hold the rod up quite high? Still that nymph to naturally run through with the dry. A good one, another one. I come to the dry end in them, so it's good. Took the dry. Gosh, Whew, that was a good take. I was just hanging the dry right in there. Oh, calm down. There we go. Lovely fish. Just untangle my leader. Oh wait. There you go. I'm drying my fly now because I've had quite a few fish on that. Okay, I'm back out. I dried my fly and uh, changed the battery in the camera. Oh, gosh, fish takes. Fish took there straight away. That was a nice trout. Another one anyway. I was just hanging the fly, I was just using the wind to hold my cast out. And it oh, took. Done really well in here, so now the fly I'm using is a dynamite Harry. It's the one with the possum. It floats really well. So I'll try again below the tree here because I did miss a couple of fish there. I had a good one on and lost it. So see if there's another one lying there before I move down. No. You quick cast up. I've seen a wee fish rise there. <laughs> a wee fish there is just bouncing with the fly.
normal move down. Try the next pull. Okay. I'm just going to fish from this area up the pool. Uh, seen a couple of trout uh, rise, just, just wee trout, but we'll see. They looked wee. And uh, see if we can get one or two. It's a good run down through this. Looks really fishy. Oh, gosh, I've got one straight away. I was just about to say there's a stone over there. A nice fish. Another nice brownie. There you go. Took the nymph. Beautiful fish. Go back out. It's a good split between the nymph and the dry. Just let it drift through naturally. I would say there's a kind of stones there. I'm just drifting between the stones, so the fish must have just been lying off the back of the stone. So just slowly work my way up. I just fish close. Oh, there's a trout there. A wee trout rose in front of me. See if he comes up for the dry. Beside that tree looks really good, the wee run. Oh, missed a wee trout there, I think. Just pop the fly right over in it. Just let it drift through. Just quietly running through, see if there's anything there. Uh, some sedges there, flying. I think we thought it was a wee touch there. And a wee quick go on the far side here if I can anyway. It's coming through there really quick so... Just kind of hang the fly a wee bit on the far side. Okay, this is... Let's give this five, ten minutes or so. To see if I can lift the fish out. It's going to work my way up. So... See if we can rise a fish or two. Take one in the nymph maybe. If you can see where there's plenty of sedges on the water here. So ideal if there's gonna be a, a fish looking at flies down here.
so I did rush your water coming through there. Maybe a wee bit shallow in there, we'll see. Right, might be. We'll keep we'll try anyway. Okay. Looks really good here as well. I think we would guaranteed to catch a fish in there. Folks, I'm sunburnt. I've uh, cooked today, so I have from no, no respite from the sun. It's been hard going. Uh, when I'm over the sun, anyway, it's been warm, and I'll suffer for it. My ears are in fire, I think. Anyway, it's been a good day. I've enjoyed the day when on Smiston. Uh, hopefully I'll get another chance to come on more, maybe fish more for the salmon next time I think it depends but you've got a good option here of fishing for the salmon if it's not doing obviously you can try for the trout so it's good to be back on the water after 30 years, or maybe 30 years away since the last day, well 95, so not exactly 30 years but 1995, uh, last time I was on the water was then, so it was a long time ago and it's good to see it, it's a, it's a really lovely, it's a lovely beat I mean it's good, and you've only seen a wee a wee touch of it, I mean there's still the top and then you've got the the bottom stretch basically called the low water beat is the bottom, it's, it's lovely as well, it's amazing so the next time I maybe have a, a go down there anyway there we are folks, that's the river doing at Smeaston I say we're 15 miles up the river from where I normally fish and uh, just it just gets better as they say it's such a lovely it's lovely water to fish anyway that's us for another another day and uh, Again, thanks for watching.